time to get ready hey guys welcome back to my channel today this video is just gonna be a little get ready with me chit chat video I'm about to get ready to create some content so I figured why not just jump on here and do my makeup with y'all little chit chat I'm gonna share a couple life updates I guess we could call it and just have some fun I have really perfected my current makeup routine it's really good so I'm kind of excited to get into this makeup and then just talk chit chat have some fun so let's just go ahead and get into it okay so first things first you guys I'm still not sure how I feel about it but I went and got my brows laminated you know that thing where they it's basically like relaxer for your brows I was very kind of like mm, why am I even doing this but I fell victim to the trends and I was like let me just give it a try so it basically straightens out your brow hairs and it gives that like you know bushy kind of like more full effect so this is what they look like right now zero makeup on I think the shape is cool and I think maybe I could get into the vibe this eyebrow naturally just has less hair than the other one which is why it might look a little bit uneven but I'm genuinely happy with the shape I just I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the sticky uppy hairs. I don't know. I do feel like it looks good with some brow product on. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm actually going to quickly prime my skin before we jump into brows. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is basically like a primer for your skin that literally feels like a moisturizer. Mm, I love it so much. It just makes your skin feel super juicy super plump and i don't know foundation just sits on top of this thing real nice oh and as we're talking about brows though have you guys noticed my lashes i don't know if the camera's like picking that up but i got lash extensions as well a lot's been going on if y'all don't follow me on instagram and make sure you do because i share like all these little mini updates on my ig stories all the time so if you're like oh my god you've been doing all this stuff you haven't been showing me most of it is kind of on the ground but yeah loving loving the eyelash extension so far anyways let's go ahead and get into these brows this is my current favorite top notch top dog period poo <laughs> my favorite brow pencil ever so this is the sephora collection brow pencil it's like i want to say it's like 12 bucks super cheap but it is really good and it's also waterproof y'all i think that's my favorite part about it so once you have it on your brows are good the shade that i like to wear what's the shade name why can't i find the shade? oh number five medium brown so literally just going in and stroking because it is laminated my brow is slightly like a little bit more full i just do like hair light strokes and just kind of push it upwards the one thing i will say that i'm liking about the brow lamination is that my brows look more natural like they look more hair like when i do fill them in with my brow pencil see i think that's pretty and i feel like i use way less product with the laminated brow boom so this is how we're looking so let's go ahead and clean these up with some concealer the nars soft matte complete concealer is my favorite little um cream concealer y'all should already know the deal so this is the shade caramel it's closer to my skin tone it's probably slightly a little bit lighter but i like to use something that's fairly close to my skin tone i don't like to go like super bright with the highlight underneath my brows i feel like that was very 10 years ago <laughs> brows coming along let's go ahead and freeze them into place with this bad boy this is my current favorite they also have one that's like a tinted gel i'm just gonna use the clear today but kosas came through with some really bomb brow products bomb.com and they're like clean makeup so we love that it's called the air brow brow gel and like i said this is the clear so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this so we can freeze these brows into place all right let's jump into complexion i have been obsessed like if you guys know me, you know I have been obsessed with this since last year, ever since they dropped it. I'm not gonna use this today because I wanted to try something different. So this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, but I wanted to try something else because I've been so, so happy with this. I wanted to try some of their other complexion products. I know, I'm a little late to the game. Everybody knows NARS has amazing complexion products, but this is the first one I had ever tried from them. So I was like, let me go ahead and try some more. So I actually just picked this up from Sephora. This is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I have got 
not like a super long, but a fairly long day of shooting. I want to get multiple looks, multiple different types of pieces of content today. So I'm going to need foundation that's going to last. Um, I also like the fact that it's like natural radiant. So it might give me like a really, well, I'm expecting it to give me a really nice natural dewy-ish kind of look. Just radiant exactly is what it's called. So let's get into it. I'm excited. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. This is brand new, brand spanking new. Haven't even pumped a thing out of it so we're about to try this for the first time together this is the shade tahoe i got the same exact shade that i'm in their soft matte complete foundation because i was like it must be the same i'm assuming y'all probably know this and have probably used it and you're probably like list you're late but you know what it is what it is here we go here i am okay the consistency definitely feels a lot more lightweight than the matte soft soft matte complete foundation Oh, but look at this shade match though. <clears throat> That's one of the reasons why I think I was so obsessed. Like the formulation, yes, boss, like just beautiful, amazing. Like slays my skin every time. But also the shade match is perfection for me. And sometimes it's really, really hard to find that. Like there's certain brands that just don't have my shade, period. So guys, guess what I have going on tonight? One of my neighbors, are hosting a really fun wine tasting um 70s themed event at her house and i'm very excited about it one thing about me i love a good theme because i go in okay i ordered like this flare jumpsuit looking thingy from amazon all the things okay i'm going all out and i'm very very excited i'll probably just keep this makeup on um so hence the we really about to be testing the long wear of this foundation um but yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. 70s is a vibe, okay? Okay, so pretty. Not, it's not giving me, you know, as much life as the soft matte complete. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not feeling as perfected as that. Um, so this is still coming in at like second best next to that, but still really pretty, still really nice. And I do like the radiance that I've got going on here. Let's proceed. Where is my concealer? Okay, I need to put y'all on to a really good concealer. Rare Beauty did not come to play. So this is their concealer in the shade 240W. This is the best concealer color that I have ever used. I also really like the applicator. Let's see if I can show it to y'all. So their applicator has like a flat tip. So literally, as I'm applying it, I just use the flat tip just like this and then Boom. It's really nice. I love the applicator. I also love the formula. And then as I said, the color is really what gets me. Look at how bright it is, but it's not a pasty bright and it's not a pink bright because a lot of colors in this shade that are bright um, are very, very, they run very pink and very like almost, it's just, it's not me. This runs very, very yellow. It's more of a yellow undertone and just like a yellow almost even a little bit golden undertone and it is really cute okay if you want to look really glam like really put together you need like a really nice bright highlight not overly bright to where it looks like you know you're a ghost underneath your eyes but just something that stands out like boom okay she's awake and she's glam and it's ugh, it's so cute I don't know if anybody else feels this way and I get mad at myself for feeling this way and then I get mad at myself for getting mad at myself for feeling this way <laughs> It's the whole thing, okay? Problems of an overthinker, okay? But I just, I'm having some serious pandemic fatigue. I don't know, part of me is just like, it's been going on for so long, like, why aren't you adjusted? Why aren't you just used to it? Like, this is the way things are now, just, you know, get over it. And then the other half of me is like, the world has shut down and you're in a new country by yourself and it's okay to feel like poop some days, but I don't know, I'm just, I've got two minds in it and I'm just, I am over it. Absolutely 100% over it. In the early days of summer, I saw everybody going to Mexico. I know y'all probably saw it too. Everybody was in Mexico. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm dying to travel. Everybody else is traveling now. Maybe I'll be able to like get, you know, a little bit of travel in. I'm very, I'm, a, I'm from an island, right? So I'm very accustomed to traveling frequently. Um, and mind you, my the borders of my country are still freaking closed. So I haven't even been able to go home since October of last year. Anyways, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to travel. So my birthday is in October and Bay and I were like, okay, yeah, you know what? We're gonna have our time to shine in Mexico. 
We're gonna book our Mexico trip. <laughs> Y'all, we just had to cancel it. Can you imagine getting stuck abroad and having to fork out out of pocket for an additional 14 days? God forbid if you go over there and catch that variant. Like, it's crazy. And I feel like it would honestly stress me out so much to the point where I'm not sure if I would be able to truly relax and enjoy the vacation. Oh, you know what? The last thing I want to do is spend this entire video <laughs> complaining about the current state of the world. So don't worry. That's not what I'm about to do. But it is like, I guess, like a mini part of my little life update. Like I, I've literally still been struggling. And I do think it's important to mention it because as creators, we create pretty things. We create pretty pictures and pretty videos. And it's so easy to get caught into that and see it and think, dang, like they got it so good, you know? But let me just tell you, if you are struggling as well, I feel you. I feel you. I'm struggling too. If you are struggling, if you feel like, holy crap, like it feels like everybody else is kind of okay, doing okay with this pandemic, but you're still struggling, like I feel you. It's hard. And you know, I thought I saw the light at the end of the tunnel at the beginning of this year, and then it just got snuffed out. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, well, like I said, what I'm not gonna do is spend the rest of this video complaining about that, but yeah, just a quick note, if you guys are feeling like poop about it, so am I. So am I, and if all your favorite shows are now set in COVID time too, and that's also triggering you and really upsetting you, that is happening to me as well. Anyways, let's proceed with this look. We are gonna focus on positive vibes. You know what? There's something that I actually do when I get into that rut. I literally like out loud, I just randomly, George, <laughs> George gets this all the time, but randomly, I say, babe, I'm grateful for, and then I literally just randomly tell him like five things that I'm grateful for. One of my best friends actually told me, she'll look at the time, and anytime it's like a double time, so, 2.22, 3.33, 11.11, whenever it's like a double time like that, she takes the number. So for example, if it's 3.33, she takes number three and says, okay, out loud, she's gonna say three things that she's grateful for. So it's a cute little thing to do too, but it just always shifts the perspective a little bit. You still feel a little crappy, but it does shift the perspective in that you can just remember the things that you are grateful for. Right now, I am grateful for the sunshine. It is a beautiful day, which is why I'm so excited to create content today. There is not even a cloud in the sky. You know those bright blue sunny days? It's like that in Atlanta today and I love it. Super thankful for that. I'm super thankful for you guys. I'm here hanging out with you, putting my makeup on, so I'm thankful for y'all. And then my third thing that I'm thankful for is life. I'm thankful to be healthy. I'm thankful that my myself and my friends and my family, we are all healthy. So I'm just thankful for this life right now, right here, right now. Is as hard as it may seem, as annoying as it is and frustrating, I am thankful for it. Okay, that was my little spiel, okay? <laughs> my little spiel and then boom, hit you with a little positivity at the same time, okay? All right, so complexion is really, really coming together. It looks really pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of additional powder to my face. Oh, by the way, the powder that I sat with is the Laura Mercier powder in the shade Honey. It's an OG. It's my favorite loose setting powder ever. So I'm just taking a little bit of excess loose powder and blending a little bit into my forehead as well. My T-zone has been acting out this summer in the heat. Like I have combination skin and if you have combination skin, you know that means like your forehead and your nose and just your literal T-zone is always oily. And then right here can tend to just be either normal or even sometimes dry. So um, my T-zone, especially like in the summer heat, gets real crazy, real oily. I'm talking about a slick of oil on my forehead. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna make sure to put a little bit of additional powder in that area to make sure that she is set because I do want to take advantage of the beautiful weather outside and take some photos outside. I'm also gonna go ahead and use my current favorite setting spray. I literally keep the cap off because I like to just grab it and but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush, Air Blush, <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Flawless why can't I speak today? It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. I love this stuff. Current favorite setting spray. It is so good. So here we are. Oh, 
Guys, I'm, I'm really liking how the brows are looking, actually. Kind of, I kind of love it. Do you kind of love it? Let me, um, here's a close-up. So far, I think this is coming along. All right, so next, let's get into some bronzer. We can add back a little bit more dimension to my face. Oldie but a goodie. Well, I guess it's not really old because it did launch last year, but this Fenty Cream Bronzer. I don't know. I've been grabbing it back recently. I It was like hot last year when it dropped, and then I kind of forgot about it, and then I just picked it up the other day, and I was like, dang, this is amazing. So this is the shade Teddy, and I'm using the Fenty brush for this. I love this brush for cream products. It's really, really good. And so I'm just going to dab on a very small amount. So just, doo -doo -doo, just like that right there you see how it gives just a little bit of dimension mm, love it it gives us cheekbones is what it gives so just a little bit here and i like this because it blends out really nicely it's also like a really great color for my complexion as well so it's not the super harsh like mm, contour but it's still giving the same kind of effect the same kind of vibe so i love it and i don't go too crazy as you can see i didn't really add back any additional product to the brush i've just been kind of going back and forth between my cheekbones and then i actually set this with another bronzer so this is an og fave the charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer i wear the shade 310 let me show you what it looks like i love the packaging i love how huge it is like this is not gonna finish anytime soon as much as I use this. I literally use this every time I put on makeup. This is my favorite bronzer and it actually works really, really well with the Fenty Cream. And just add that on top. So this is giving sun-kissed, for sure. That's what I love about it. I'm kind of feeling like I, I went a little bit crazy <laughs> with the bronzer on this side. So let me show you how I will correct that. And then there's Charlotte Tilbury products. I love Charlotte Tilbury, period, if you can't tell. Um, so this is their pressed powder. This is in the shade number two medium. So this is obviously quite light for my complexion, but I love it. Ooh, I'm dropping things over here. It's literally, it airbrushes, okay? Like right away. So I can just kind of correct and lighten a little bit by just tapping in a little bit of this powder here. Okay, so this is looking really cute. We've calmed down the bronzer a little bit from looking a little bit too extra and I like it. So what are we gonna do now? Set, 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 set. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is grab my bronzer. This is my little, this is my little lazy secret. It's not a secret. I feel like I've shared it with you guys here before. Basically, I use bronzer for eyeshadow. I can't tell you the last time I've picked up an eyeshadow palette. And it's sad because I'm very addicted to buying eyeshadow palettes. Like I am that customer where you throw a beautiful eyeshadow at me and then you show somebody with a really pretty eyeshadow look that's super complicated and nothing that I could ever do on my own eye as hard as I could try. Um, but I will buy it. <laughs> I will buy it and it will just sit here. And I have proof because I have a drawer full of at least, I kid you not, at least 30 palettes that are just sitting down there. I don't use them because it's, I just, I just literally go in with the same bronzer, the Charlotte Tilbury one. I focus towards the outside of my eye to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I just start carrying over the blend just throughout my crease a little bit. And then boom, we have a defined eye. <laughs> that is it. Especially now with my lash extensions, I just do nothing. Like I feel like, you know, my lash extensions kind of do it for me. They do what needs to be done and the bronzer just helps. So I don't know if you guys can tell a little bit of a difference, but it's like, a little bit more put together this is looking a little plain a little bit undimensional this is kind of like mm. you know what i mean it just it's very simple you know and it get, it's a very simple look but it does make a difference and this is what i do even for like special events i feel like the only time i'm gonna be like "Ooh, where are my eyeshadow palettes is probably gonna be halloween Ooh, halloween's coming up you guys Oh, October. October is my favorite month ever. Favorite month of the year. It is my birthday month. I'm a Libra. Shout out to y'all. Um, I'll give I'll give the Leos their little season, but Libra season is coming up, and I'm very, very excited about it. I just thought of a really cool content idea for my birthday. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet, but I am gonna say 
It's really cool. There's gonna be a lot of content coming out all surrounded my birthday in October. <sighs> Just wait on it, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so now I think we can go in with a little bit of blush. This is my current favorite, Bare Minerals Kiss of Copper. Let me show you the shade. Look at how pretty this is. It's like a pinky, peachy kind of blush and I love it. So lately I have been doing a blush a little bit different, following in line with the trends right now and all the trends are saying like more lifted. So instead of actually putting it right here on the apples of your cheeks, which is what I was always taught, I actually go in like towards the side here and just add the blush out there. And I'll take a little bit of it down, but it's mostly kind of focused and like concentrated right here on the outside. And that helps to lift your cheeks even more. And I'm trying not to go too crazy like how I did with the bronzer. <laughs> trying is the keyword because blush and bronzer are my two favorite things ever. Besides lipstick, lipstick takes the cake. Lipstick is number one, but number two, is bronzer and blush. All right, so now it's time to highlight. I, there's this, this right here is what has officially gotten me back into powder highlighters. For a long time, I was saying, it's just cream for me, that is it, that is all, but this brought me right back to the powders. This is the Janessa Myricks Lightwork Palette. Ooh, look at it, look at it. So for highlighter, I like to go in, especially with powder, I like to do a little bit at a time and then lightly Layer it as necessary because I hate a powder streak of just burnt highlighter. You know what I mean? So I like to just take it slow and do one little bit at a time. Okay. Y'all know what the deal is. Now we set again. So the last thing, which is certainly not the least, last but not least because you know how I feel about lips. It's a lipstick. What do I want to do today? Do I want to go in the left field and maybe try a really bright pink? I got these new um, by Beauty Lipsticks. These are really, really, really good. Matte liquid, matte liquid. I keep, it's just, it just rolls off the tongue now. They're not liquid. They're regular lipsticks. They are matte. They're beautiful and the pigment is, mm. I don't think I'm feeling pink for this look, but maybe we can put on pink later. This is pretty. All right, let's put this on. So this is the shade Extra Sugar Buns. Okay, well I think this is pretty. This is really, really cute actually. So the last step is gonna be to deal with this hair. So let's see what this situation is. What's going on back here? We've got a fluff. We've got a stray fluff that don't know where to go. But I will say, you guys, another little update or I guess a warning, <laughs> something's happening to my hair soon. Something is gonna be happening. I'm about to do a protective style soon. I'll show you guys all the deets on that, of course. But after the protective style, something's gonna happen because I am just not, I am just not, I'm not fulfilled. I'm not fulfilled with the way that my hair is right now. Um, either I will be adding layers, maybe I will, like just the shape. Whatever suggestions you guys have for me, I'm open to hearing them. What do you think I could do with my hair that does not sacrifice the length? Should we go back to the bangs? Should I just reshape? I've been seeing girls with long hair that have a really nice shape that I genuinely love. So I'm like, it's possible. I don't know why I started to think that long hair cannot have a shape because it's clearly possible. Um, I just need to figure it out. Once I figure it out, I'll be sure to let y'all know. Anyways, this is what it is right now. We'll work with it. We'll make it do for now and yeah. Okay, you guys, I lied. I think I wanna change it. I just, I don't know. It's not giving what it needs to give, I don't think. So, I'm gonna go in with a nude lip combo instead. So I'm gonna line with Charlotte Tilbury again. <laughs> they have amazing lip liners, y'all. They glide right on it. This is my favorite. This is called, what's the shade? Pillow Talk 3 Intense. Such a beautiful brown. I talked a lot about this in my lipstick video that I did. If you love lipsticks, you gotta go ahead and watch that video because the combos that I added in there are really bomb. Boom, just did the outer. I'm just gonna smack my lips together a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab my Artist Couture Saucy Gel lipstick and I'm just gonna add this in the middle. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm. 
It's like a, a warm, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So pretty, it's coming along, but I do think I wanna add some gloss on top. Ooh, let's try this one. So this is a really nice light pink by Artist Couture. Again, this is the shade Thirst Trap. So let's give her a try. Okay, so this is adding more of a slightly pink tinge and I am here for it. Okay, I think this is more my vibe today. I think so. Let me know in the comments which one you preferred. So there we have it now. The look is still pretty. I think both could have done really well, but I think in particular with this green dress that I got on, I just, I don't know, I'm feeling the nude vibe. I'm feeling the nude vibe. Thank you so much for joining me as I got ready today. I had so much fun with this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you are new, make sure you slap that subscribe button before you leave. That way, you never have to miss out on a new video ever again. And that's just the kind of good vibes that we need on a consistent basis, I think. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. There are two more videos here that you can check out next. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.